we have another major store, solar storm warning. It happens every few days. Uh, it seems to be, uh, there seems to be a pickup, uh, an increase. Radiation risk as major plasma eruption from the sun will hit our Earth today. Major solar storm warning has been issued as the Earth is struck by a large plasma blast from the sun with some experts warning of radiation risks today. The Earth is currently being blasted by a major solar storm, experts warning, uh, warning of the dangers also in the coming week. According to alert from U.S. National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, the Earth is caught in the midst of a geomagnetic storm after it was hit by the expulsion from the sun, a solar flare. The organization labeled the storm a G3, which is classified as strong. Such strong geomagnetic storms can cause disruptions in power systems, create problems for satellites and astronauts in space, and major even, even uh, take out make can take out navigation systems radio communications. A geomagnetic storm occurs when there is an efficient exchange of energy from the solar wind into the space environment surrounding our Earth. The NOAA officials added that such solar storms can also bring auroras like northern lights and southern lights, which can now be spotted by relatively uh, low altitudes. The organization also warned that the storm that started yesterday has continued and is still classified as a major storm. Dr. Tamitha Skov, space weather physicist, warned that the solar storm from yesterday will continue today. And while most of it will be focused on the high, in the high altitudes, relatively lower altitudes, could also see some auroras. According to space weather, the current solar winds are blowing at 516 kilometers per second with density of 7.5 protons per cubic centimeter. At the strongest level of the solar storm classified G5, the charged electromagnetic particles can cause electricity grids around the world to collapse, bringing down satellite navigation alongside other major electrical problems. In February, Elon Musk's SpaceX Starlink satellites, he lost about 40 out of the 49 Starlink satellites launched earlier after a recent geomagnetic solar storm. SpaceX said these storms caused the atmosphere to warm and atmospheric density at our lower, at our low deployment altitudes to increase. In fact, aboard GPS suggests the escalated speed and severity of the storm caused atmospheric drag to increase up to 50% higher than during previous launches. Experts repeatedly warned that the Earth is not ready for the potential impacts that are caused when a G5 storm takes place. This particular storm was a result of a coronal mass ejection, or a CME, which came out of the sun a few days ago. One of the most powerful forms of solar storm CME occurs when the sun belches out a cloud of charged particles and electromagnetic fluctuations. Space weather noted that geomagnetic storms storm is likely caused by the Canyon of Fire CME, which first struck the Earth magnetic field April 8. Dr. Skov warned an incoming solar storm will graze Earth on the heels of fast solar wind this um, of the fast solar wind this week and on uh, April 13 tomorrow. Aurora five-day outlook shows storm conditions expected for high and mid altitudes. In the solar flare outlook, top panels show flare activity and bottom shows the risk for radiation storms, they said. So this is uh, the latest on space weather. This is by Anthony Ashkenaz, Express UK. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.